Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my current beauty favorites. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me for today's video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. That way you won't miss any of my uploads. All right, guys, so today I'm going to talk about products that I've been loving in August and September. So that's why I'm calling it my current beauty favorites, but it's kind of what I've been using for the last couple of months. Let me start a little bit out of order because I want to talk about my hair just a little bit and where we are with the hair. You may remember that I filmed a keratin treatment in January of this year. And it was around the Martin Luther King holiday. It was my very first keratin treatment and I actually reapplied it maybe two or three months after that. So I guess that would be March maybe was when I did it a second time. And then I haven't applied it since that time. I feel like my curls are returning, but depending on the products that I use on my hair, it's not as big and voluminous and full as it was before. I wanted to talk some about products that I've been using on my hair lately. My plans are to apply the keratin again. I just have not had time. You really have to have time set aside to be able to apply the product and go through all of the steps. Hopefully I will reapply the keratin treatment again soon. A new product that I started using on my hair lately is the Dr. 14 Vital Care Shampoo. And I received this from a company called Lapcoast. It has salicylic acid in it. I read somewhere not to use hair care products that had salicylic acid in it whenever you have a keratin treatment. So I never use the product when my keratin was like full fledged, like I just applied it, I would not use this shampoo. But because I knew that the keratin was sort of leaving my hair recently, I decided that this would be a good time for me to try this shampoo in between keratin treatments. I really love this shampoo. It says formulated with 14 active ingredients, it says without 14 common harmful ingredients. I don't know what those are. It's a clinically proven healthy scalp treatment. It moisturizes, exfoliates, and optimizes scalp health. Dermatologically tested is what it also says. And it's got a lot of other things. Salicylic acid, panthenol, niacinamide, biotin, menthol, and zinc. This reminds me if you guys have ever tried the Paul Mitchell Tea Tree shampoo where it really tingles and you have this refreshing sensation whenever you use that shampoo that's what this reminds me of and my hair feels really clean after i use this and it's very light on my hair it's not heavy and i don't feel any type of residue and i requested this item because this seemed to be a really popular item on their website so i will link it down below but again, this is called Dr. 14. And if you have any type of scalp issue, which I don't typically have, but this is still it's like so refreshing for me. But if you tend to have like dry scalp and you have a scalp issue, I would recommend that you try this because this feels amazing on the scalp and it's just a great shampoo. I used that on my hair to shampoo my hair yesterday. I also followed it with the Design Essentials Honey Cream Moisture Retention Super Detangling Conditioning Shampoo. That was like my second wash. So I used that first to really get it clean. And then I followed with this shampoo and I have used quite a bit of this. This was also sent to me. I was able to select which products I wanted from Design Essentials. And this was one I chose and this is a wonderful shampoo that I would purchase myself and probably will whenever I run out of that product. So that's a wonderful detangling, very hydrating shampoo. Again, very moisturizing, but does not leave a residue. I hate shampoos that I can kind of still feel in my hair after I'm done using them. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Those two do not do that. And um, something else that I have picked back up since my curls have returned because I'm starting to kind of have more tangles again, all of that. I picked up the Prep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler. And this is also like a heat protectant. 
if you straighten your hair but I don't use it in that way right now I use it to detangle my hair before I start brushing it and it does a fantastic job of detangling the hair and making it easier for me to brush and comb when my hair is wet and again this is by dry bar if I didn't say that I also went back to the design essentials um, almond and avocado curl enhancing mousse and I use that on my hair today just a little bit of that and I use the detangling spray and I think that detangling spray is part of the reason why my curls are a little more stretched today and I have on another uh, cream on my hair too also from design essentials that I didn't bring to talk to you guys about but I think the detangling spray might be keeping my hair from like looking super full today I think that's what's got it looking a little bit sleek but this is wonderful for really making my curls pop and it's a foam and I was sent this product and look at how much I've used of that <laughs> so really like that but one of the reasons I went back to it I think one of the first times I tried it it was when I filmed the L'Oreal powder foundation review and I also filmed a, a haul that day too and my hair it was pre uh, keratin treatment but my hair was very full and beautiful and my curls were just gorgeous and I was like what did I use on my hair that day to make it look that way this was the product that I think was different on my hair that day that made it look so full and beautiful but again today I put the detangling spray on it and I think that kind of has sleeked it out some but um, if you want nice popping curls this this is a really great product and you can get that at a beauty supply store but any of the products that I can find a link for I will link them down below let's get into makeup and then I'm gonna go back to some skincare body care products I don't really have a ton of makeup to talk to you guys about the primer that I've been reaching for a lot lately is the Jane Iredale smooth affair brightening face primer is what it says here this works really well with all of my foundations it helps lock my makeup in I don't know that it's that smoothing it says it is but I don't necessarily get the feeling that I have the smoothest skin ever but I just like it because my foundations last longer and have really good longevity whenever I use this primer so I've been reaching for this a lot lately I picked it up during the last Ulta 21 days of beauty this is brightening and blurring and hydrating primer again I don't know that I get the feel all the things that it describes here I don't necessarily notice all of that I just notice that my foundations wear really well with this primer and it's by Jane Iredale today what I have on I want to talk to you guys about today I have on a powder foundation guys but first let me tell you about the concealer that I'm wearing and the concealer I've been reaching for one of them I have been reaching for the Sephora best skin ever full coverage multi-use concealer and the shade that I have mine in is 33N and I really like the shade of this I feel like it gives me a nice bright look in the center of my face but I also sometimes wonder if I need a deeper shade or not you guys tell me what you think when I look in the mirror right now I think it looks pretty good and one of the things that I notice with this concealer for one you don't really need much like the day that I tested this out and filmed a video using this product I dipped in twice and I don't even think I put that much on but I felt like later that I really only needed one I only needed to go in like one little swipe and that was all you really needed and you get really good full coverage like I feel like my eyes are fairly smooth right now and I don't see that divot in my mirror I can see a little bit of a shadow where it hasn't covered the shadow and I don't know if that's because of the coverage of the concealer or the shade because sometimes if you get a little bit deeper shade it's going to have a little bit more of that color correcting when it comes to the you know dark blue that you get from dark circles underneath so that may be what I need to do is just buy a deeper shade 
or it may just you know not be that big a deal because on camera it doesn't look that bad so just know that sometimes when you have dark circle issues that sometimes it's not the concealer it may be the shade of the concealer but regardless i have really enjoyed it and it's also quite creamy it doesn't settle in my fine lines like i'm my lines look really good you guys know i'm 49 years old and this is helping me cover that up it just looks really beautiful and it's only $15 I think it's very affordable at Sephora so it is a really good concealer if you're looking for one to try a nice full coverage creamy concealer and it says here multitasking so I think if I purchase it in different shades I could use it all over my face for different reasons you could contour with it you could spot conceal and all of that but I just picked up the one brightening shade and I've been reaching for this a lot recently because remember these current favorites but i've been reaching for this ever since i picked it up and it does have um i'm sorry let me show you guys it does have a doe foot applicator and that is what um the shade of this one looks like and look at how nice and creamy and full coverage that is and it looks um brighter like the closer i get it to my lighting but that's about the shade and I really like this. It reminds me a little bit of like my Shape Tape shade in tan, but it's really pretty. It's a nice neutral shade and I've been loving this. Another concealer that I've been going back to and loving, this is my Pat McGrath concealer in M17. See how that one's a little deeper? I have this in two shades. I have it in a deeper shade as well. And I think that one of the reasons that I really like this is the color. Like it is a warmer concealer for me. It just adds this nice yellow tint. So sometimes I'm like, should I buy a yellow concealer and not just a neutral concealer? Even though I'm more of a neutral person, I buy neutral most of the time, but I can't remember what this shade was. I don't know if it had olive in it, but it is just this nice warm shade and i just love this concealer i love the shade of it i love the longevity it wears beautifully it's a nice matte shade um it's just one of my favorite concealers i love the luxurious bottle the container is glass and i've just gone back to it and been reaching for it a lot lately you guys may remember that I did a video I did like a try new makeup this is the baked balance in brighten foundation in the shade tan by Laura Geller and I filmed a video I don't know a year ago I don't know it's been a while and I was trying out new makeup I had on a new wig that day too it was really pretty <laughs> and I purchased this in the shade tan and I really really love this foundation it's so gorgeous I have this on and I have on another powder foundation and I'm going to tell you why. I really need to go back and pick this up in a lighter shade. I just felt like the shade that is one shade lighter than this looked like it was going to be too light for me. But I kind of think that that shade might be the right shade. Because this one by itself is just darker. And it also has um, a cooler tone to it. So it just is off just a little bit it's just a little bit too deep for my skin so if you're a little darker than me you will love this this is just a very kind of stay in place give you this beautiful airbrushed finish type of foundation it is so pretty and it's by Laura Geller and it's not a drugstore brand and it's kind of more of a high-end brand but to me it's a more affordable high-end brand oftentimes on her website she has lots of percentages off i think when i purchased this i saved 40 percent or something crazy when i bought this so you can get these products her products really affordably on her website again this is baked balance and brighten foundation and this is very 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 good this one is just a little bit too deep for me so i'm thinking i'm gonna go back and buy it in a lighter shade so to overcome the dark shade i will apply i like I applied this concealer the sephora concealer first then i applied the laura geller all over and then i 
topped it with my broken busted this is also a tan but i think it's shade 35 this is the micro smooth powder it's the sephora collection and i don't know why i keep using this busted one because i do have a backup of this but it's like i just keep wearing this out i'm gonna i'm gonna empty it just a little bit more before i open up my backup i will kind of go all over everything in this shade because it is lighter as you can tell this shade is lighter than the other one see so the two together just make a perfect shade combination for me and then i will go over all of that with a translucent powder so i'll definitely like use a translucent powder to set my concealer areas then i apply the powder foundation and then i kind of go over everything with a translucent powder to make sure that the shade is the right shade i have been doing this little combo here lately on the weekends i will put a little concealer on and i'll use the powder foundation whenever i'm running errands or going to get my nails done or doing those types of things on the weekends i just sort of do the powder foundation a lot lately so i just wanted to apply it for you guys and actually have it on on camera because sometimes i will talk about all of my powder foundations but i don't wear it for you but that's what i have been loving as my weekend makeup here lately okay a couple of foundations i want to mention this is nothing new i have been talking about it for a while and i didn't want to repeat it again but i really have been reaching for this makeup forever foundation this is like getting ready to be like one of my all-time favorite i was debating on whether to put on my powder foundation today or this because i just love this <laughs> i love how this looks on camera the hd it just always looks so beautiful on camera i did film a review on this foundation and it is in the shade 3y52 and there is a 3n54 that is a neutral shade that i think might be the better match for my neutral skin but this was the equivalent to my old amber shade which was y445 so i wanted to try the equivalent shade whenever i pick this up so this works as well so either one will work if you want a more yellow tone this will be the shade and then if you like the more neutral then i'd say the 3n54 would be the better shade but whenever i want my foundation to last like if i know i'm gonna have a long day you know i'm an educator and i work at a central office and i have to attend board meetings and things at night and so if i know i have a board meeting and it's gonna be like eight nine o'clock before i get home i will put this foundation on because i know it's gonna get me all the way through the night it just looks gorgeous it's just a beautiful foundation it looks great in video and pictures and it is so long lasting and it is more affordable like it's a high-end foundation that is not too expensive and i love the new packaging and how the cap is a different color depending on the shade that you choose so i just love this foundation it is still the liquid foundation that i have reached for the most in recent months so i just love this the makeup forever hd skin foundation is what it's called i love this i wanted to come back and just kind of refresh your memory about this Chantecaille foundation it is the future skin cushion in agave it is way too expensive you can also buy something very similar in a little pot the future skin foundation and banana looks very similar to this if you don't want to pay for this cushion but i wanted to come back to you guys because i finally switched my cushion so i wanted you to know how long that original cushion lasted like it lasted months 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 i wasn't using it every single day of course but it did last a long time so i have a new cushion in here this is a remarkable product if you like very skin like products that just make your skin look gorgeous this is one to try it is expensive so i would say try to purchase it when you can get it on sale i have learned that i like using a brush with it i just plop the foundation brush into the cushion and i apply it that way and 
I just have the most beautiful, gorgeous skin. And it's something with the technology of this product that it blends in with my skin. So you almost look like you don't have anything on your skin. You just look like you have really pretty skin. So this is just wonderful and I'm still happy I purchased it because the cushion lasted a long time. I've replaced the cushion now and I'll be able to, I'm sure, buy more cushions. When you purchase from their company, some of the proceeds go towards, I think, um, animal conservation or something. And this one is all about elephants, this particular product. So I like that concept about the product too. So very good very good product from shanta kai and i've been reaching for it again now that i've made my little cushion switch we're good to go again final foundation that i want to mention that i've also reached for a little bit lately and i'm going to continue to wear it more and more is the good apple foundation this one is the shade tan 006 you guys remember this viral sensation and this was the only one that I could get at the time that was close to my shade it's a little bit light but I'm always able to make it work with bronzer and it's a foundation balm and one thing that I noticed with this is you just cannot apply too much like the first time I think I tried it I applied way too much it like really only almost takes like one swipe into the product and you can pretty much do your whole face so apply less if you're going to use this and it's just like the best i'm going to just like i'm i just got the smallest amount and way too much and this is what it looks like it is definitely a creamy creamy texture you have to use a very very good uh powder whenever you apply this but it is just a gorgeous gorgeous product and it's very different like different than other things that i have and it just covers beautifully so it just gives you this beautiful coverage and as long as you use like a really good um long wear primer and you powder really well then this will last a long time if you have dry skin you will probably just love this without hesitation you'll just love this but if you have combo skin like myself and oily and t-zone or if you're oily anywhere then you're gonna need to take precautions when applying this product to make sure it doesn't get oily so I've kind of figured that out and I just make sure to apply all the right things with it and it just looks gorgeous it gives me beautiful skin so I've been reaching for this a little bit lately and I will reach for it more as we move into cooler months when I'm a lot less oily everything else like blush like I don't have on a lot of blush today I just have on a um, peach blush from MAC cosmetics highlighter nothing too new there some of those products are just repeat products and we're not gonna talk about those we're gonna speed ahead to bronzer this is the soft sculpt transforming skin perfector and it says radiant skin powder it is really not a bronzer and i already knew that when i purchased this but i forgot to tell you guys that i just kept calling it a bronzer it's not a bronzer it's like a skin perfector makeup by mario actually has a bronzer as well that you can purchase that's really a bronzer this is a skin enhancing product that to me is just another type of bronzer <laughs> like i don't know who would take this product this is quite deep i don't know who would take this product and just put it all over your face so it still to me is a bronzer for sculpting the face okay i think i did a video not too long ago and i tried this out on camera and i had to be extremely careful like i went in kind of heavy at first and it was like super deep if you go in up uh, too heavy this one is the shade dark and there was a similar like there was another shade i don't know if it was medium dark i think maybe that i also probably could have used but i loved the color of this one so i picked this one and i have been using this quite a bit like see how it has the shimmers and it just has this gradient effect but i just love the deep color of this bronzer or sculpt powder whatever it reminds me of my endless summer butter bronzer as far as the shade it's very similar but this is quite stunning and it does add that nice radiance it's not a matte 
bronzer so it's just a beautiful beautiful product okay, ever since I filmed that video this is the product I have been reaching for to bronze my face with the most love this I think that most of what I have been grabbing when I'm going to work are just all eyeshadows that I've talked about recently I have one eyeshadow product that I want to mention that I have talked to you guys about a long time ago but I'm still using this and I use it a lot so I wanted to tell you guys about it I keep this product here at my home in my vanity and it's not in my work home you guys know I stay in two different places so I keep this one here and I always reach for it on Monday morning and I also reach for it whenever I'm here and I'm late <laughs> you know I'm always late but if I don't have a lot of time this is the one I grab because it doesn't require any thinking and this is a Visart or Viseart I never know how to say this if it's Visart or Visart but that's the brand and it's the only palette it looks like that see how it says that Visart I think is what it is it's the only palette that I have from them and it's a petite pro palette I will link it down below because I don't recall what the name of this particular one is and I think it says like petite pro 2 or something on the back but I feel like it has a name and you can get it at Sephora it does have a little mirror it's just this the smallest palette that I think I have that I own <laughs> but the color story spoke to me i wanted to try this brand this tiny palette is 30 dollars which seems a little pricey for a palette this size i know it is so if you want to try it out i'm sure there's a fall sale coming at sephora soon but this is the palette that i used to create the eyeshadow look that I have on today. I grabbed this so much. I wore this the other day. I, I had a doctor's appointment and I just put on, this is the shadow I reach for the most and it has the biggest dip as well. And so I will put this shadow all over and I will just blend it out. Like I will blend that into the crease. I just want you guys to see this beautiful color. And it is mostly what I have on right now I have a lot of these shades on right now I have these two kind of in my transition crease area I applied the chocolate brown color in the corner over here and sort of dragged it in a little bit into the crease and then I have this shade mostly all over the lid and then I have this shade sort of in the inner corner to kind of brighten the inner corner and that's what I have on my eyes and I just love this palette it just gets me compliments so I, I had it on when I went to the doctor the other day and all I had on was the one shadow for the most part I think was that one shadow all over my lid she immediately said your eyeshadow is beautiful and this is what I had on this one little palette I need to try some more eyeshadows by the brand because this one is wonderful and I love it and I reach for it all the time and I keep it in the vanity so that I don't lose it because it's so small reach for it all the time beautiful I talked a lot about my nude lips in my nude lips video if you haven't checked that video out be sure to check that one out I'm not gonna talk about my nude lips another lip product that I have been using that I kind of like that I have been enjoying that was sent to me and I talked to you guys about it like I think in the beginning of another video recently was some Urban Decay lip products that were sent to me and I swatched them but I didn't actually wear them so I'm gonna try those on because one in particular I have been wearing a lot recently and I really do like that product so let's do some lip swatches really quickly this is the urban decay vice lip bond this one is the shade law of attraction and this is the one that I have been reaching for a lot I've been reaching for this and wearing it but I have been topping it with another gloss I'm not gonna do that right now because I want you guys to get the chance to see the lip product I have been like taking a little bit of gloss and applying a little lighter shade in the center of my lip I've been doing that you know I'm a gloss person but this is like a liquid lip 
but it is not a matte liquid lip so it looks a little creamier it doesn't look super shiny but it doesn't look matte either okay so this one is a little deeper brown perfect for fall so i have been stepping out of my comfort zone and i have been reaching for this when i go to work isn't it a beautiful color nice fall color so again this one is called law of attraction and just for the sake of seeing what the other colors look like i'm gonna swatch those on my lips as well this one is the shade raw footage i like this one too and i have worn this i haven't worn it out of the house i have tried it on but i haven't tried it on on camera and that's really pretty oh yeah nice and vampy perfect for the fall so like that and again doesn't look too matte beautiful let's try on the final color and you're supposed to shake these up to activate them every time all right i'm a little scared this one i think i had missed a little spot here we go This one's called Shock Value. What do you guys think of this color for me? <laughs> it's pretty. It's, it's definitely a, a nice color. And I probably need more color in my life. But it's definitely, I think, more of a summer shade. But it's pretty. Not, not normally what I wear. Not normally what I wear, but a pretty color. Again, these are the Urban Decay Lip Bonds. They tend to be long wearing. And this one does last longer than an average lipstick. These are really good liquid lip products that have a little bit more emollients on the lips and are not a matte liquid lip. And definitely worth trying if you're a liquid lip person and they're from Urban Decay. All right, so I, I doctored that up just a little bit to tone down my shock wave so that we can get through the video. <laughs> One product that I want to mention is the Angels Share by Killian Fragrance. You guys know I reviewed this here on my channel I think maybe a year ago and I purchased it last year. It's a pretty pricey fragrance. Definitely one to write down as one to try when we have a Sephora sale or some type of sale. It's just like this beautiful bottle is a nod to an alcoholic beverage whiskey or some type of brown liquor this is a plastic cap but this is glass and at first when I tried this I wasn't sure because it had a boozy sort of fragrance I wasn't sure how I felt about it but after that I started wearing it started getting compliments on it um, one particular person at work every time I wear this she always smells it on me and loves it she'll come in my office and can smell it in my office and like what smells so good and I'm like I think it's me um, it's got a kind of sweet but boozy fragrance it's just a very unique scent and as soon as it started cooling off and started feeling like fall on some days like today feels a little fallish as soon as the fall started to creep in I started reaching for this so lately I have been wearing this a lot and I love it and I've probably used about half of it in such a short period of time that tells you how much I have been wearing this so this is again it's called angels share by Killian and it is just this lovely sweet but grown up and sexy fragrance perfect for fall and winter speaking of fall another product that i have been 
loving that my daughter said mom let's see if they have this pumpkin body butter and they did and this is from trader joe's and i haven't had it very long but i wanted to tell you guys about it this month because it is like a seasonal fragrance if you want to pick up the pumpkin usually these fall products go very quickly and it is just the best body cream of body butter i love the trader joe's body butter and i typically wear the coconut that's the one they have all the time and then in the fall months they will bring out pumpkin and i also think there was a grapefruit um, that they had during the summer but this one is better than that um, better than the grapefruit I like grapefruit but not as much as the pumpkin and not as much as the coconut and it is just wonderful and I actually think that I like this one better this season than the last time is creamier so they might have worked on the formula a little bit it's creamier than it was before but it's just lovely it just oh, it smells like a little bit of pumpkin spice <laughs> this is so so good it smells like pumpkin spice if I'm able to find it I will link it down below but you may want to check out Trader Joe's and get your hands on this before it's gone I got sucked in um from an Instagram ad and purchased these each and every deodorants I have another fragrance as well I think maybe lavender that's at my apartment home and these are the two that I keep here I decided to give it a try it was during one of those months when I was like oh I kind of wouldn't mind trying aluminum free deodorant and seeing if I can make that work <laughs> and I think it was because I had recently tried one that didn't end up working so I was on the hunt for one that worked and this one definitely works I prefer to use this at night versus during the day I feel like my body still wants the aluminum deodorants during the day but at night time when I want to give my arms a rest <laughs> I always apply one of these at night before I go to bed. So this one is the Citrus Vetiver fragrance. And I think this one, I would say the Vetiver is my favorite. This one is my favorite one of the bunch. And probably my next one that I like the most is the Coconut and Lime. Yep. Mm -hmm. The Coconut and Lime is my second favorite and then the Lavender is my third favorite but I always love applying these at bedtime and if you're a person that you know doesn't need the aluminum deodorant as much as I do you may be fine during the day and these may work fine for you and I just wanted to come back and let you guys know that I am still using these and still loving these and because I bought them in like a set it came in like a set of three it will probably take me forever to need to replace these they have lasted me so long surprisingly like I use them every night and I still have so much product left I still have so much left so they're long lasting and I use them every night so I just wanted to tell you guys again and this is from the company each and every I will link them down below the final thing that I want to talk about it took me a while to come back and tell you guys that this is a disappointing product because I wanted to try it for a while before I really threw it into disappointments and it's not terrible it's just not something I'll probably buy again so I just wanted to give you guys that update so this is the Patrick Ta palette and this one is the major dimensions too and I tried it here on my channel when I was testing out new products and I was able to come up with a nice look a pretty look and I liked it okay I, I could tell during that video that I wasn't a big fan of it but I was gonna give it a try and when you look at this palette it just looks so beautiful it's a beautiful palette it has such beautiful rich eyeshadows in it and it's not the worst it's not the worst of you if you pick it up you're not gonna like hate it it's not that terrible but what I find is that the shimmers here are mostly they feel like they're kind of too the glitters are too chunky and they're like um, more of a topper like let me show you guys so see that is a beautiful little I don't know if that even showed you enough let's see like I don't know if you guys can see it here but it's a gorgeous swatch there 
but it is very much like a topper. I can see the glitter particles on my hand. This might make a beautiful highlighter, actually, but I can see the kind of glitter on it. And I just like eyeshadows that are a little more solid. <laughs> that have a shimmer but don't I don't see all the glitter particles or I don't want a whole palette full of those like one or two that are more of a topper shade but it seems like every one of these sort of looks like that sort of has a lot of shimmer and probably my favorite of the bunch that doesn't seem to do that as much is the that one color this one is the only one that I'm able to really pull off and doesn't have all those topper see how those look more toppery and that one doesn't right but all the other ones do the only shade based on my swatches that doesn't have all those glitter particles in it is this darker one here but and it's pretty deep it's like a deep wine color but all of those have a lot of glitter and then the creams i thought why do i need those these are cream shadows like am i gonna wear them by themselves probably not but i find that these need to be on top of the cream in order for them to really look more pigmented or show up on my eyes i need the cream shadow as a base and then the other thing i noticed is i feel like they don't they're not long lasting on my eye they start to kind of get oily my lids start looking oily and breaking apart and I can see like I have more mature lids and I can see the lines in my lids more and they just this just just doesn't look good over time when I have it on and even with the mats like if I just wear one or two mats maybe but like if I'm trying to build I would expect that with this shade range that I could build one of those gradient eye looks that I like where I have the deeper color and then it goes more it gets lighter as you go up the lid but I can't even do that with these because I feel like they start looking muddy and when I put them on like that it just looks like I have on one color it just blends them all together and looks like I have on one shade whenever I try to build an eye look with just the mattes so this is just one of those palettes where in order to use it, I'm, not, I just, I'm only going to use this shadow the most, maybe a cup, one or two of the mattes. I just, I have to really be intentional and thoughtful in how I use this in order to get any kind of wear out of it. And it's just not my cup of tea. But I think if you are maybe younger than me and you want this palette for like a party kind of palette, like for building like like really glittery eye looks for going out on the town then you may really like this but as far as just an everyday eyeshadow palette it's just not my favorite it's not my jam and i won't buy another one <laughs> i have to make myself use this palette i bought it and so i forced myself to use it all the time and i also feel like i feel like the glitter starts to fall in my eye a little bit throughout the day like it moves I don't know and that's by Petra Todd I'm sorry I just didn't end up loving it a lot and I tried it for a while now trying to make it work and I've just decided I don't like it <laughs> okay so that concludes my favorites my current favorites and per my usual it's a little long probably because whenever I talk about favorites I end up giving you guys a little mini reviews and they take forever if you made it to the end of today's video in preparation for fall how about leave a jack-o-lantern emoji in the comments down below so thank you so much for joining me for today's video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and i will respond and if you've not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave so i'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video so until the next time we meet again this is savvy signing out